Hi, you two. Shea Bear here again. Pooh Bear's behind the camera. Follow me, will you? Okay. Now, we found these yesterday, these poles. Now, I thought I cut the cordage out of it, nice elastic, because you never know when you can use cordage like that. If we don't use it here, we'll throw it away or whatever, but it was free for now. I thought, what can I use these for? But I thought, maybe I can use, use them for something, these tent poles. I had an idea. Follow me again. Plastic fork. Uh, I figured that out all by myself, Pooh. Okay. Take the two teeth out. Take your black teeth. Couple swirls. Stick in the ground. Oh, where's the soft spot? Stick in the ground, and you now have a handy dandy fishing pole holder. Okay. Cooper <laughs> is shaking her head with this big smile on her face. All right, Evan. There you go. All right. Not a bad idea. All right, you guys Good like job. that? Thank you. All so, right. you know, Pooh Bear, there's your fishing pole holder. All right, that'll come handy. Good job. All right. Thank you, Shea Bear. You're welcome. All Bye right. for now. Bye. Okay, YouTube, Shea Bear 1000 here. I'm going to show you how to boil water in a plastic bottle, just like this. One of them, I don't know, name brand, whatever. But this is that real thin, that real thin uh, plastic. Now, believe it or not, what you're going to do is you're just going to set it right in there like that. Just like that. See, it's already starting to boil the water. See how it raised it up? I should have turned time lapse on. <laughs> yeah. So, but I'll get back with you here in just a second so you can see. Okay, YouTube, as you can see, this water is boiling. 212 degrees is what water boils at. Now, everybody, uh, the, as a rule of thumb, they say boil it for, what, 10 minutes or something like that. But, uh, uh, I, I've I've done some studying and uh, I guess it, it 212 degrees as soon as it hits boiling there is not one pathogen that could live in that water but um, that water will be good to drink now your bottle of course it's going to distort a little bit it's plastic of course it will but as you can see that is a rapid boil you boil that for a couple minutes and the reason why it's not going to burn through is because that's water inside there so it can't you know it's it's still it's still cooler than what the the fire is so it's it's, it's not going to burn burn through maybe if you left it there long enough i don't know once all the water boiled out yes then it's plastic it is going to burn but right now it's not as you can see we are boiling water in a plastic bottle one of them real thin plastic bottles it, it's not going to burn through um it took about six minutes for that whole thing uh to boil so you know you've got water mm. Now that's that's one way of doing it, and I'm going to show you here in a minute how you can uh, purify water. But the best way is always to boil it. But I'm going to show you how to how to uh, also filter it out. And uh, if you have a, if you have a means to boil it like this, um, filter it first, then boil it. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I, it, you're not going to have a problem, you know. But um, so there you go. There's there's um, how to boil water in a uh, plastic jug. So, back with you shortly. Okay, YouTube. Shea Bear 1000 back again. Now, as promised, I want to show you something here. Now, this will work in a pinch. Um, take this. Take charcoal from your fire. Of course, this is not my fire because ours is still hot. Take some charcoal, put it in, 
in your bandana. Now, if you've ever been had a bad stomach flu or something or ingested the wrong stuff at the hospital, they make you drink that charcoal stuff, that charcoal liquid. That's what they're doing. It's it's helping you get rid of whatever's inside your stomach and stuff like that. Now what you want to do is you want to take this fold this up. Now we're going to go back over here. Here, let's get a couple more pieces. Now like I said, this is in a pinch, but it will work. Now technically what you should do is get you, if you could, like like maybe a, a filter system of some kind like a like a percolator or something, you know how they've got that little aluminum thing with all the holes in the center of it. You know, you you put your charcoal on bottom, then you put sand on top of that, and then gravel on top of the sand, and um, that that that's the best way to filter. But then always boil even after you do this. If you can't, for some reason, this will work. But I'll bring you over here. And just kind of show you real quick how to do this. Got some water here on the table. Um, let's see, we got an old cup here. That's had chocolate milk in it, but you'll get the idea. Now, what you're going to want to do is you want to take this. Shit. Should have had you on the tripod. Let me set you down. Just like. Just like this for a second, okay. Now make sure all your make sure all your uh, stuff is inside your banana your banana. <laughs> your bandana. Sorry for the smoke. Put your bandana like this. Just like that. Now I'll show you. Like that. There you go. This is what it's going to look like. Sorry for the smoke. And you take your water. This is water we was just boiling, but you, you'll get the idea. And you just pour it, pour it over this charcoal. Now this is a filter. Now what you what you going to have? Like, okay, if if you have water in your uh, you know in your refrigerator for ice maker and water that comes out the door, you know what I'm saying. Um, now your filter, nine times out of ten, you change that filter. If you would cut that filter open, you're going to see charcoal in there. It's a charcoal filter. And you've all heard of that, like Brita and all them, charcoal filter system. That's what they're using to filter the water. Now, of course, it's going to be nasty looking. But I guarantee you, you can drink that. It might not taste the greatest, but... You will stay hydrated. Now remember, in a survival situation, this is just camping. I, I wouldn't do it camping. But in a survival situation, you're not out just to, oh, that water tastes funny. I can't drink it no matter how good it is or how clean it is. Well, in a survival st situation, you have to stay hydrated. And this, this will hydrate you. Uh, survival situation you're not really going to care because you're going to get thirsty now you can you can live up 21 days without food but water i'm not sure i think it's maybe a week depending on the circumstances it's not very long you need water to survive period and it's got to be clean no pathogens now this will filter out anything now like i said after you do that do that first even do it a couple different times you know and then do it back into the container you took it out of whatnot do it a couple different times, then boil it. Then boil it. Now, if you now if you was paying attention when I showed you how to build a fire, carry a flint stick with you, carry a lighter with you. You get a fire going, you'll find some way to boil. These things, unfortunately, are laying around all over the freaking place. You look around these campsites, they're all over. You walk up the street, they're all over. You you come come to a place like this, there's going to be one, two laying around. You'll find something like that that you can boil water in. So please do this first and then boil the water. Now I want to show you something else, another little quick tip. These uh, these chairs, you've all seen them, these camping, um, you know, chairs and whatnot, whatever you want to call them, fishing chairs. All right, down here at the bottom of that, you see these little holes here? Check this out. You can take a tent stake. Everybody's always got extra tent stakes. You stick it down on the ground. Now that's not going to keep you from flipping over. 
But when you get out of the chair, how many times you get out of the chair and your chair fall backwards or you get up to go get a drink or go relieve yourself or whatnot and you come back and wind blew your chair over. That is not going to blow it over. Put one in the other side. It's not going to blow over. When you get up out of the chair or, or somebody bumps it, it's not going to knock over. You know, your drink's there. It may spill a little bit, but you're not going to, your, your chair's not going to fall over. Just handy little tips. Put one in there, one in there. We've always got extra. You know, both chairs have those. And uh, that's what they're for. That's what, you know, a lot of people don't know that. Now, like I said, by no means is that going to hold you down. But, you know, you put it there. And then... At night, you know, you don't have to worry about coming out and your chair blew away, you know, in the middle of the night because you forgot to fold it up. There it is. It, it's going to it's going to stay. You know, I mean, it's pretty solid. Like I said, you're you're not, you know, you, you'll you'll still fall over, you know, if you had one too many and you're leaning back or you go to sit down, you can still fall over. But that'll hold your chair in in, in place. So, pretty cool little tip there. Now I want to show you something else that's kind of fun for the kids here and. Uh, I'm going to have Pooh Bear videotape this for me if she's got a minute. She's a busy little beaver today. Okay. Okay. So here's Pooh Bear. Morning, Hello. Pooh Bear. Hello. Good morning. Her's not real happy because we're packing up, but I just want to do a couple videos. Okay. Now I'm going to do this over here. Whoops. See? I forgot. That worked. Okay, good enough. Well, as you can see, YouTube, that worked. This chair wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> All right, now, come up a little closer, but don't zoom. Okay? Okay. This is a, a neat little thing for the kids. You know, you can do. Just uh, take the center of this can. Cut it down. Like, whatever. And then come over here, just make an X pattern. What I do... Just come over about a oh, fourth of the way there and bring it up. And a fourth of the way here and bring it up. Now be careful, it's going to be sharp. Of course, don't let your kids do it by themselves, supervise them. But you, you can do it for the, for the kids and it's fun. And you do the same thing at the top or you can go top to bottom. It doesn't matter. Whatever your preference is. And... Uh, just a cool little, uh, you can take your time and make it look really cool. And, you know. But there's that. Now, close my knife. Now you take this and you open it up. It's got a little pop on there. You bend your wings out a little bit. Now you take a little tea light candle, them little tea candles, and you set it in there and you light it. And this reflects it out. And you also have a little tab on top. To hang it by something you put your little tea light candle in there you know straighten your bottom out a little bit you know give it a little little thing in there you know tap it down so your candle set straight and there you've got uh, a neat little lantern it's fun for the kids uh set it on your table if it ain't too windy or or whatnot or just hang it from a tree it's really cute the kids love these things uh when bear was here for the weekend she she just really enjoyed it and had a good time she was making little fires in there little sticks and putting little fires in there and watching the smoke come up out of there like a little chimney so there you go it's just a neat little thing you make you know for your kids so there's that <laughs> so thanks for watching hope these little tips helped and uh you know give give you something to enjoy yourself while you're outdoors doing things learn do try different things you know like the the fishing pole trick it just hit me you know try different things look around find stuff see what you can do see what you can build it, it can be a lot of fun it don't have to be boring where you want to go home two days early because there's nothing to do do fun stuff why are you shaking poo i don't know <laughs> all right so there's that so um in fact i got a tea light i'll get one i'm gonna pause you right now and i'll, I'll get a tea light I'll get a tea light and uh, and I'll light it up for you and show you. And there you go. Isn't that cool? Just a cute little, you know, like I said, something for the kids. You can hang it in a tree and, you know, it's just, uh, 
you know after after dark though it does uh it it is pretty bright i mean you you, you could read by it if, if you had to but it's just something neat for the kids to go hey you know i made a little lantern and you can adjust your flaps however you want them you know but uh but i just we just thought you know that that was cute something to something to uh, uh share with you and you know Now what she is doing is what I mentioned I think earlier in one of the other videos. Make a checklist and do it twice. Copy it. That way you do once when you leave the house. That's when we left. And this, she's checking everything and everything should be checked when we leave here. That means everything's back in the car. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, good tip. It only takes a few minutes just to, you know, uh, print out what you want. Write it, you know, type it in, print it out check it off as you are putting things in the car so this is all we've got left is what's on top of the car a couple things and um, a couple little things right there uh, it takes a little bit of time of packing but um it's well worth it isn't it hun yes it is we don't we've never left anything have we no we haven't or i should say forgot anything or left anything we always do a scan like i'm doing now make sure everything's picked up i got a couple little pieces of trash here that wasn't from us it was on this tree that i took off that little bread tie wasn't from us but i'm going to pick it up it only takes a second you know if a man tries out a new beer and he don't know it's a it's it's not twist off He'll sit and what? Figure out a way to open that beer for 20 minutes, won't he, hun? Yes, he would. But when he leaves the campground, he won't take two seconds to pick something up, throw it in the trash. Well, I didn't bring it. It's staying there. No, you know what? Just It only takes a second. Pick it up, you know? It's just, give, you know, give the environment something to, to grow on, huh, babe? Yeah, and then on your list at the bottom. Okay, Pooh's got an idea. Um, I'm putting things that we thought of while we were camping this time that might be useful the next time. Just put a little note, things that would be useful on our next trip. Oh, good so idea. So that we can look back and have it the next time. That's a very good idea. And I noticed on the back of the first one was her grocery list yeah. that she wrote down. Because um, you think of things, you can't type it all in, check it all off everything you can't just write down what you think of and then you can flip through it. oh there's we're at the store we're on our way out we need this uh, I forgot the chips you know we'll pick up a bag of chips and like she said next time she's writing down things that that we're going to remember to bring next time now remember this is not survival this is not an overnight backpacking or even a weekend backpacking trip I mean this you, it's going to take a car and a pretty good sized car to carry this stuff but you have everything you need, but we we've, we've been here for five days. Five days. Mm -hmm. Friday. This is Wednesday, right? Yep. So six days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. Six days, and I got tomorrow off, and I go back to work Friday. So we've been here six days because we came here Friday. So, but yeah, that was a good idea of her to to mention that to you. So that's what we're doing, and our music is just well. We, cell phone just and uh so there we go and that's you know this is going to be well well put out and everything and, and uh so we're just going to take our time make sure we got everything cleaned up and and uh we're going to hit the road and we may or may not see something funky if we do we'll videotape for you and add it in here somehow so there you go there's our our campsite and as you can see we I'll roll this over beside that tree for some for the next person, somebody else to use. And it's starting to get windy, so we're going to get ready and uh, find and organize and get out of here. So that being said, Bear out. All right, Shea Bear, I'm gone. Y'all be safe.